recording. All right, welcome everybody. We're gonna get started in just a second. Looks like we got a pretty good amount of people in the chat. Um, I'm Jen and this is Zoe. And today we're gonna to be um, making a craft stick airplane with you guys. So if you don't have your craft sticks, um, that's okay. You can watch along with us and uh, we'll show you how to do it. And then you can pick up your supplies uh, later and craft along. And we also record these. So if you wanna check back in or if you miss something, you can always go back to the recording and watch. Um, and we would love for you guys to, you know, craft along with us if you can. Are you ready? You're not. No. No. Looks like we have lots of people here. We better get started. I'm almost ready. Almost ready. What a diva. <laughs> we have some people who just had birthdays, a lot of loose teeth, a lot of missing teeth. Very nice. Do you hear that, Zoe? Lots of birthdays, lots of missing teeth, lots of loose teeth. Yeah, some wiggly teeth. Wiggly teeth. Do you have any wiggly teeth? Not yet. Would you like me to make one wiggly? No. No. Not yet. That would hurt. That would hurt. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started then. Um, so uh, check out the bottom of your screen. There's going to be a Q&A section and a chat section. So in the chat, um, Lindsay's going to post the link to the project. So if you want to look at the uh, supplies, if you haven't looked at the supplies already, if you want to follow along with the written instructions, that's okay too. Um, you know me, if you've been to any of my classes, you know I deviate a little bit from the instructions. So it's all right, you can follow the instructions or you can follow what we do, or you can do something that's all your own. So if you'll check out the chat, you can find the stuff there. Um, all right, so if you wanna take a look at what we have here, um, this is the project that we're gonna be working on today. It's the closed pin uh, craft stick airplane. So you can kind of see there's a clothes pin in the middle, craft stick on the bottom, craft stick on the top, a big craft stick across, and then a little one at the back. Now, the first thing I want to talk about are the craft sticks. So if you followed the supply list, you're going to have these jumbo craft sticks, and you're going to have a little pack of mini craft sticks. And if you don't have big and little craft sticks, that is totally okay. All you need is any kind of craft stick. You can use the regular popsicle stick kind, uh, and I can show you how to make these work. Did you want to say something? Say it. What else can they use? They can use crazy ones. They can use crazy craft sticks. That's right. So some of the craft stick packs have those crazy craft sticks that have the cuts in them, and you can use whatever you have on hand. Zoe knows well that we always craft with whatever we have going on. So. All right, so craft sticks, and then also we, we're using clothes pins. So again, that's what goes in the middle here. So you can, you can clip your airplane onto things. If you don't have a clothes pin, that is perfectly okay. You can just make the top part of this plane, which is just craft sticks and whatever stuff you have to decorate with. All right, so the other pieces that you'll need, um, we're gonna paint the craft sticks, so you're gonna need some brushes. I'm using the foam brushes. I find that it works a little bit easier. And then I've got two different kind of paint I wanna show you guys. Um, there's, the, there's the Creatology paint in the pouch that I love so much. I'll get that up where you can see it. It's just washable Creatology paint and a little pouch. It is super easy to apply. Uh, you can put it straight onto your brush without using uh, a paint palette and it's easier to use with foam brushes than the wells, which I have here. Um, but if you're using a bristle, bristle brush, um, you can absolutely, you know, use your Craft Smart Craft Paint. So here is the, the set, another set that I would recommend, just because this one has a ton of different colors and it's relatively inexpensive. I think it's like six or seven bucks for the box, so. Oh my gosh, I did not know that. I know, what a shock. All right. So the other piece is um, glitter. So today we're gonna use glitter, um, which means you're gonna need some glue. Now you can use regular Elmer's glue and the glitter, or you can use glitter glue. I was just gonna say that. Oh, were you? What kind of glue is this? Cool glue. Cool glue, that's right. This is the Elmer's glow in the dark glue. So you can use any kind of glue you have on hand. Um, so if you've got the glitter in your glue, 
great. It saves you a step or you can use glitter if you have glitter at home. Um, okay, and then I have googly eyes. So the craft, if you look at the directions on online, um, there's another ingredient which is model magic. We have some of that, but um, we're just gonna stick with the craft sticks for today. And I'm gonna talk to you about how to make the model magic head if you want to know. If you don't, that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna put googly eyes on ours and make ours um, silly fun planes. So, all right, you ready to get started? Yes, are you? Oh my goodness, we're having an itchy attack. Okay, all right, let's get started. So I'm gonna grab a few of the craft sticks out. The first thing I would recommend is that you build your plane because you're gonna wanna let it dry. Now, you know me, again, if you if you joined any of my classes, I like to make, um, I like to make a couple at the same time so that I can show you guys the different ways. So I'm gonna build the plane and let the glue start drying and then we're gonna paint a set uh, and then we'll let the paint dry and then we'll be able to go back to the glued plane. All right, you wanna glue your plane? You remember how we did this? You're gonna take one of your clothespins. Mm -hmm. Remember? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's your glue. That's right, you're gonna need two of the large craft sticks. If you're using jumbo craft sticks, those go on the top and the bottom and we'll show you how that works. Actually, you need three. You do need three. One, two. Three. Very good point. You're, you are zooming right ahead of me, aren't you? And there's one more thing, a little one. A little one, that's right. All right, good, all good points. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna glue two of the craft sticks to the clothespin. Let me make a little bit of extra room here. Okay, remember what I showed you? Remember how to do this? Mm -hmm. You're gonna put one line of glue all along the edge of your clothespin. Can you do that for me? Mm -hmm. Okay. I can show them. Okay, you show them. I opened it, so no, you're all set. We have a few questions, Jeff, yeah. if they can use hot glue for this project. Um, so I don't recommend hot glue for little kids. Um, Elmer's glue is kid safe and it dries really easy. Um, for older kids and adults, you can use hot glue. Um, but I find that Elmer's works really great on the wood surfaces. But, you know, if you don't have Elmer's and you do have hot glue and you are an older kid or an adult, um, then I think that would work perfectly well. And Oh, there you go. All right, so you can see Zoe has put her glitter glue here on the top of her craft stick. Pink glitter glue. Pink glitter glue. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate what she just did. You're just gonna put a little line evenly across the top of your clothespin. And, and then, then you do the other this. way. Oh, the other way. Yep, just remember, it, nope. Here, you do it like this right here. Oh. Line it up to the edge. There you go. All right, so the edge of your clothespin that opens up when you, when you squeeze one end, the other end opens. So that's the front of your plane. You so glue on you. It's okay, glue will wash off. So you wanna, you wanna align your craft stick to the edge that is opening up. So you're just gonna press it down like this and align your craft stick. Here, I'm gonna show you the underneath side, like this, just to the edge. So you don't want the corners poking over the rounded part. You're just gonna come right up to the end. And then what I'll do is just hold it for a few seconds, um, kind of tight. You don't have to go crazy and squish it to death, but just really kind of hold it down. And I would hold both sides of it because it's got that spring in the middle. And if you hold one side, it'll flip out of your hand. So just hold it for a few seconds, like five or 10 seconds. And then you can set it down and you can glue your other side. All right, Zoe, so you're gonna do your other side. Okay, so again, here I'm gonna get mine a little bit closer. You're just laying down an even line. Don't go crazy with glue because it'll just squish out across the top of your clothespin. And then you're gonna lay. Look at that. Mom. Oh, yours looks beautiful. All right, remember Zoe, you're gonna lay your craft stick down so that it's the same. That's right, that's right. So you're, and then you're just gonna press it down. Not too hard. Not too hard. Just soft, softly. That's right, softly. And then uh, there. And then Done. pinch both sides just for a little bit, like you did the other one, like five or ten seconds. 
this and that's is just how you a, make it, but you paint it. That's right. That's how you make it. All right. So once you've done that, you can set it down. And then we're going to glue the wings on. Do you remember how to do the wings? Yeah, I do. All right, so okay, here's... Okay, okay. Uh, uh, so you take another of your big, big craft sticks. All right, now remember, you're going to go to the middle. So this is how I tell which where to put it. In the middle of your clothespin, you have um, a little metal spring right here. And that's about where you're going to put the wings. So... It's going to be right here on top and it'll align with where that spring is. So what you're going to do is just put a little bit of glue. A and again, blob. don't <laughs> a little blob of glue. Don't go crazy because it'll just squish out yeah. on top. And then center your popsicle stick. Wow. I just flipped right out of my hands. <laughs> center your popsicle stick. And then again, you're just going to press it down. Count to 10. Just, just to help the glue tack up a little bit. And you can always put a little bit of weight on it. All right, here, though you need to do yours, remember? Okay, you're gonna put your glue right there. Don't go crazy. Just a little bit. Tell me when to stop. I will. It's tough stuff putting in glue, isn't it? There you go, stop. Turn it over. Very good. All right, now center your stick. Put it in the middle. Very nice. Is that the middle? I think it needs to go a little bit more that way, like that. How's that look? And then get one of these little things. Yep, next you're going to get the little one over here. So if you don't have a little craft stick, let's say you don't have the jumbo, you don't have the small ones, you just have regular, um, you can cut the craft stick in half with your scissors. Um, I'm not going to do it to this little one, but if you crack, um, cut a regular size craft stick in half, it makes the tail piece the same size. So there's your tail piece. Yes. All right, put your glue dot, remember? It, mm -hmm. it goes yeah, back yeah, here. Yeah. All right, Tell so- Tell me when to stop. Okay. I know, it's a lot of work. Do we have any questions, Lindsay? Yes, we have some people wondering, um, what do you, if they don't have the big craft sticks? Yep, so if you don't have the big craft sticks, you just have the regular size craft sticks, then um, that is perfectly fine. You can absolutely use those. And you'll just cut one of them in half to make that tail piece. And I would pick craft sticks that aren't bowed. Um, I have made a poor selection here on my bottom one and it wants to bow out on me. So it's, it keeps wanting to peel away from the, um, from the clothespin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set mine to the side and I'm gonna put something heavy on it. I'm gonna put something heavy on it so that, um, so that it'll keep the glue glued down. All right, so the other piece you're going to glue down is the tail piece. So again, this is your smaller craft stick. So if you don't have the small, you're going to take the regular size and cut it in half. Or if you only bought the jumbo, you can make a tail out of the jumbo too. You can just cut it in half and round the end with your scissors. And then you're just going to put another glue dot here at the end and then stick that one on. So your plane's going to look like kind of like this from the side. You're going to have the wings and the tail on the top part, and then you're gonna have another stick on the bottom, and that's good, what you're gonna to use to open it. So if you don't have the clothespin, all you're doing is the top piece, which is two large craft sticks and your small craft stick. If you do have the clothespin, you've got another craft stick on the bottom of the clothespin. All right. Now, Zoe, we're gonna set your plane to the side to let it dry, and we're gonna take your other plane that you made and we're, and, paint it. and we're going to paint it. That's right. Mm, itchy. All right. So for your paint, um, I'm going to use, like I said, this Creatology paint here. All right. So Zoe, did you say you want to do a rainbow? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let me put your paint in. Um, so why don't you guys tell Lindsay in the Q&A what colors or if you're going to do something fancy on your plane that you're going to paint. 
Zoe's gonna make a rainbow plane. So, and I'm gonna make, who knows? I'm gonna make a silly animal plane, I think. Maybe like a tiger or a giraffe. Oh, a giraffe. A tiger giraffe. So like a tiger and a giraffe. That's a really fun idea. Tiger giraffe. Tiger giraffe. Tiger giraffe. Any fun Pink. stuff, Lindsay? I think people are still coming in um, with their their colors. Oh, someone's doing a sunburst. Oh, nice. What's that? It's like a, it's like a, it's kind of like a rainbow, but it's, it's a burst. It's bright. Right. Bright. Purple, green, blue. Yeah, I did my teal and pink with purple eyes, and then I used pink glow-in-the-dark glue for the wings. Yeah, you can make your plane, you can, you can make it like an animal. So I think I'm gonna, I might make a giraffe one or a tiger next. And, um, here, give me the red one. You can, uh, you can paint it all different kinds of colors if you want. We have some who are adding glitter, some who are adding feathers. That's awesome. I like the idea of feathers. Zoe usually tries to put feathers on everything. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we have rainbow feathers. We do have rainbow feathers. All right, so for those of you who have just joined us, because I see there's still people coming in, and while I'm doing this very tedious task of pouring paint into a palette, uh, I'm gonna walk through the project one more time. So again, we're doing um, craft stick planes. And here is an example of what they look like. It's just a clothespin with some craft sticks glued on the top and the bottom, and then craft sticks, uh-huh, you can paint on uh, for the wings and the tail. I'm just going to sit. All right, there's your, now remember to keep it on my paper, okay? We don't want to get it on the desk. Okay, so always remember, put, put something down so you don't get uh, paint on the table. So for the plane, like I said, you're using craft sticks and I've got two sizes of craft sticks here. There's the jumbo craft sticks, which come in a large box here. It's just the Creatology brand and then the small craft sticks, which come in a bag. Now, if you only have the regular craft sticks, which they're basically, they look like popsicle sticks, that is perfectly fine. Um, you don't have to have the jumbo and the small. You can use the regular popsicle stick and you can just cut it. So like for the tail piece, you're just gonna cut the large one in half and you see they're the same size. And if you have trouble cutting them in half, remember to get your, um, your parent or the adult that's there to cut your craft sticks. I don't want anybody hurting themselves trying to cut these um, with their scissors. Yes. Oh, I don't have any pink. You, oh, you need a pink? Well, here, use your colors that you have and then I will get you some pink, okay? Do you, want a, do you want another brush? Oh, you want yeah. some more brushes? You're supposed to have white and red to make pink. That's right. right. White and red make pink. Very good. All right. I just so, need white. I already have Here, why don't you use the colors that we have here, and then I'm going to get you some pink, okay? Okay. All right. So, um, so you take your craft sticks, and you're going to glue them onto your uh, clothespin. So again, this is for those that have started, those that have started just now, I want, I want to make sure you guys can get caught up. So all we did was lay down one little line of glue on the clothespin and then put down your first craft stick and then we do the same thing on the bottom and glue them together. It takes just a little while for the glue to dry. So I'm doing two planes, that way I can paint one and then glue it and let while it dries, I can work on the one that I just glued. All right, you have your pink paint, so be real careful, all right? Hold on to it so it doesn't fall on the floor. Mama, I need another, I need you to wash this off because it's... So another thing that we can use here, um, you know, if you, if you want to paint your craft sticks ahead of time before you glue them, I'm going to show you what that looks like too. So sometimes painting uh, after it's already put together can be a little messy or if you wanna do like different colors on uh, like the wings versus on the body part here, 
Um, it can be a little difficult when you get to these cross sections. So if you don't want to um, you know, mess up your plane, then I would recommend you paint your craft sticks individually and then you glue them together afterwards and it's gonna be clean colors. All right, here's, here's your other brush. You've got plenty of brushes. If you, if you get a dirty one, just move on to the next one, okay? Yeah. All right, any questions so far, Lindsay? For those that are getting caught up? I think you covered the questions that we were getting. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the, um, um, how to glue this on with, if you're using the ones that are already pre-painted. And then I'm gonna show you how to do this if you have only one size of craft stick and you, I'm gonna show you how to do the tail. So, all right. Actually, I'm gonna do the tail first. So you can take your scissors and just cut right down the middle. And again, if you don't have scissors that'll cut these, please ask an adult, or if it's too hard for you to cut them with your scissors, please ask an adult. Um, or if I don't, you're scared, you're gonna cut yourself. Or if you're scared, you're gonna cut yourself. Very good advice, Zoe. And then what I'm doing is I'm just rounding out the edge here of the tail. There we go. All right, so now I have a half piece which can serve as the tail. So this is gonna be my wing and my tail, and then I'm gonna glue the purple ones on as the body. So again, you, your, your clothespin has a side that you squeeze, and then the side that opens when you squeeze. So this is gonna be the nose of your plane, because when we're done, you're gonna be able to squeeze the tail of the plane, and it's gonna open the mouth, and you can clip it onto stuff. All right, so you're gonna take your clothespin, top side, and you're just gonna lay down a little line of glue, and you can use any kind of liquid glue like this. Elmer's works the best. Uh, you don't have to make it a fancy glitter glue or anything unless that's all you have, just because you're not gonna see it. And then you're gonna take your craft stick, and if you're doing the pre-painted craft stick, you're just gonna lay it paint side up like this, and keep the craft stick right by the edge of the side that opens. So let me move it so you can see it here. Just like that. You don't wanna go past the end of the craft stick with the, with the clothespin. Just go right to the edge. All right, and then you're gonna lay it down and you're gonna do the other side. Now let's talk about this. If you're gonna have a plane where you want both sides to be painted, you can do your other craft stick with the paint side out. But if you're gonna lay your plane down so that it shows one side, you can do your craft paint side up. So let me show you what that looks like. So when you're looking down at it, it's gonna show painted and painted, but it'll be blank on the bottom side. So if you're gonna sit your plane down and you want it to, to be all painted, then you're gonna glue it with the paint side to the, to the, um, the, clothespin. So it's your choice. If you're going to hang it up somewhere where somebody can see both sides, then I would recommend doing paint on the outside of both, like this. And if you want to get super, super fancy, you can actually paint your craft stick, let it dry, flip it over, and paint the other side, and then you can just have a full-fledged painted uh, airplane. That's fine too. All right, so I'm going to do mine with the paint side. Um, up. So I'm going to put my glue on. You need some help? You got it. It's all right. If you get paint on you, it's washable. It'll come off. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to pretend like my plane is going to sit down all the time. So I'm going to do my paint down so that this bottom piece will show the purple when I flip it over. You used all the brushes. Well, then just go back and use them again. Look. But they are what color do you want? You want teal? Tell me what color. I yep. did use you want teal. teal? What color do you want next? I want yellow in the middle. You want yellow in the middle? Yeah, it's just here. Uh, it's I don't okay. Have any. Never panic. We will take care of the brushes. All right. So what I've got here is purple up on both sides, the bottom and the top. So this is a distinct bottom side and a and a top side. All right. So again, I'm just, I'm holding it so that it'll 
it'll tack up just a little bit before I set it down. And then I'm gonna glue the wings on. All right, so just carefully set it down because again, it's not fully glued or dried. And you're just gonna put, now again, do you need a paper towel? Yeah. Always have paper towels on hand. There you go. And remember, washable paint, right? Right? Washable paint? All right. Here, let me help you. There we go. We're just gonna sit just like that, okay? All right. Okay, so when you're, when you're siding up where you wanna put the wing, you're gonna put the wing even with this joint right here, the little spring that's in your, your clip. So this is for those of you who are using the clothespin. If you're not using the clothespin and you're just using craft sticks, that's okay too. You're just gonna put your craft stick across the top about two finger widths down from the nose. And for those of you using a clothespin, that lines up with this little spring here in the middle. So you're gonna put just a tiny little bit of glue don't go crazy, right here. And then just gently press down. A little glob, but not too much That's glob. right, a little glob. That's a, that's a very professional craft term. I'm gonna make mine rainbow. I know, I see that, it's very beautiful. Okay, now it's perfect. All right, so I've got the wing on, and now I'm gonna put the tail on, so again, just right here at the end, like maybe one finger width away from the end, you're gonna put a little dot of glue again. And not too small, but not too big. Just like this. Just it's, medium. it's like medium, there we go. It's like the size of a, of a green pea. If you eat green peas, it's about the size of a green pea. <laughs> Do you eat green peas? Yeah. They're good, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then we're just gonna press that down lightly. And don't worry if a little bit of this glue comes out of this, uh, the sides, it will dry clear if you're using the Elmer's glue. So I'm just gonna hold it down lightly. Okay, so now I'm gonna set this aside because I have to let it dry before I do anything too crazy to it or else it's gonna wanna come apart. So I'm gonna set it over here. Lindsay, do we have any questions? I have one. I need another brush. Do you have a question? Oh, you need another brush? Okay. It seems like there aren't many questions at this time. Well, I guess that's good. That means we're, uh, we're making sense. I can get it. What's this one? All right, so I'm gonna, okay, grab that one. Hop back up here. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take the the plane that I was working on earlier. So here's another thing: if you don't want to cut the craft stick for the back side of the plane, but you have like some cardstock or construction paper, you can make a tail back here with paper. So let me see if I can demonstrate here. Hold on. All right, so you're just gonna take a piece of construction paper and you can make this tail any shape that you want. You can do, you can make it this, the shape of a, of a craft stick if you want, if you like, you know, a rectangle. Or I'm gonna make one that's a little bit tapered. So I'm just gonna go like this, like this, so that I have like an angled tail. So check that out. Wow. And that's just a super easy paper tail that you can do. So I don't want anybody to feel like if you don't have, um, you know, if you don't have scissors that can cut that stick or if you don't feel comfortable cutting it, that's completely fine. You can just make an easy paper tail. And again, you're just going to put a little bit of glue, put it down like that. What do you think of that paper tail? Good. I wanted to use something. Okay. Lindsay, any more questions? We have a few questions about what the model magic is for, for this project. So they want to know the model magic part of this project or how to make the whole plane out of model magic? Just the part for this project, not okay. how to make the thing with it. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, 
So per the project online, um, that one has model magic on the top part. So what they've done is they've put a silly little, uh, they've made like a silly face and all they're doing is taking model magic and rolling it into a ball and putting the small little like round ball here on the head of the plane. So it makes, and, and then um, you can put eyes or decorate it however you want and make like a silly face plane. So that, that's just one way to decorate your plane. I, I took a different approach and I used the googly eyes. Um, I actually like the googly eyes best and they're a lot easier and most people have googly eyes and not everybody has model magic. So um, that's what I did for mine. There's right. also a link to the instructions in the chat that will also have the details on the model magic step. Yes. All right, so here, here comes the fun part. So we put our plane together and we're ready to decorate it. So you can do lots of different things. You know, um, if you don't have paint, that is perfectly fine. Or let's say you don't want to wait for the paint to dry and you just want to decorate. You can do all kinds of things to decorate this plane. So you can use markers, you can use color pencils, um, you can use paper, you can use um, stamps if you want to, glitter. I'm going to do a combination here for this plane. So my first plane, I painted this guy. You can see this one's painted <laughs> and the one I just put together is painted. And this one, I'm going to show you a different, a different technique. Is this ready to dry? Can I put it aside? No, no. Oh, you're still working on it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Just checking. All right. So you can, this, this is cool because you can do all different kinds of things here. Um, you know, with, a with your markers, you can get a lot more detailed with your markers sometimes in your craft paint. So, um, you know, you can just do all kinds of stuff. And I'm just using the, our basic artist loft marker. You can use the Creatology markers. Those work really well. Oh yeah. Is that like a face? Yeah. I like that. Can I go back to watching your knife? It it looks so gritty good. You like that? Yeah. Are you done with your plane? Yeah. Okay. All right, go wash your go wash back. your hands, okay? We don't want to get paint everywhere. And then I'm gonna go back to watching. Okay. I'll meet you. Okay. All right. So different colored markers work really well. Um, the other thing you can do is um, you can use colored glue. So a little bit earlier, I showed you guys the colored glue. So I've got glitter glue, glow in the dark colored glue. Here's another glitter glue, or um, this is always fun. You can use regular glue and you can make a pattern. So I'm going to make some spots here. And then you can sprinkle regular glitter into it. All right. So I'm just using the Creatology glitter pack. I got the multi pack, so I have lots of options. And all right, what kind of what kind of planes are you guys doing out there? I want to I want to hear some of your examples. We've got regular planes, rainbow planes. I heard some uh, multicolored starburst planes. I have some striped planes. Uh, someone has a ladybug plane. Ladybug plane. That sounds awesome. Like the stripe plane. I, I keep doing stripes on mine too. It just looks really good. All right. So if you're using these little glitter packs, I'm going to give you a little hack here. I always cut off just the corner so that it has a small hole for the glitter to come through. And then um, that way you can tape it back up when you're done really easily. So you're just going to take that and go sprinkle it over your glue that you just put on. Ooh, be careful, it comes out fast. Someone is making a Cyclops airplane with one eye. Oh, nice. I like that. It's kind of spooky, kind of cool. All right. So once you get your glitter on there, where you want it in the glue, shake off the rest. Oh my gosh, there's going to be glitter here for days. And then um, 
If you want to seal up the pack, just take a little bit of scotch tape and you're going to go over that, that cut you just put in there. So I just did an angled cut and you're going to tape it on one side and then over the other side and then voila, it won't come out. That's my secret trick for the glitter packs. Otherwise you'll get glitter everywhere and it'll never come out. All right. So if you're gonna do the googly eyes, you can use colored glue, you can use regular glue. I'm gonna use regular glue here. Just put two dots down on your craft stick. Let's see, I'm gonna do yellow so it'll match the tail. Just gonna put my googly eyes down. And again, remember the, um, the glue will dry clear, so don't worry if it squishes out just a little bit. I have a few people decorating their planes with pom-poms. Yes, that's another great, great way to do it. Absolutely. In fact, we have some pom-poms somewhere. There we go. Yep, you could make like a like a little fuzzy fuzzy plane like this. You could put them on the ends like that. Move them down. Well, I like that. It kind of looks like some sort of uh, some sort of creature. All right. So, any other questions out there? I pretty much I think I've pretty much exhausted all the different ways that you can put a plane together. So, just to recap, the easiest thing. Um, for a lot of these is to glue all your pieces together first and then um, paint them. But if you wanna make sure your paint lines are really clean, um, then you can paint your sticks first and let them dry. You can paint one side like I did, or you can paint both sides so that your whole thing's painted. You can also paint this, um, um, your clothespin if you want to, and then the whole plane will be one color. And I, you know, there's just countless ways that you can decorate this. You can use your googly eyes. You can put a model magic head on there. Um, you can use pom poms, make a crazy pom pom monster head. So you could do something like this and, and give it like a crazy, crazy hair head. Um, but paint it, use markers, use crayons. You can decorate it with paper, glue, glitter, anything that you have on hand. That's the awesome thing about these planes. So. All right, any, any last questions before we wrap it up? All right. Well, guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you had fun building the craft, uh, your craft airplane. And if you want, we've got a few more of these for the week. Um, so please join in. They're gonna be every day, three o'clock central time. And uh, if you wanna put a picture on uh, social media, you can ask your mom or dad to help you take a picture of it and we'd love to see it and just tag it with hashtag make it at Michael's. You can see it right here and then everybody will be able to see the craft that you've done. All right. All right. Thank you guys. Have a great afternoon. See you next time.